All right, y'all, welcome back to another episode of Thunder Road Running. I'm excited to be with the Demon Deacon men this go around. This is episode two. Um, so we'll be getting to do some threshold work with a very talented young squad, and we'll also get to dive into the weight room, see if we can learn a little bit there. They have a very, very insanely talented young crew. However, what we know about running 10K on the grass is that it is an old man sport. There is very rarely any sort of way around just getting strong, just being consistent, and bridging that performance gap. They allow us to tag along and observe just how that process is going and uh, and I think it's pretty neat. All right, enjoy y'all. Yeah, so today most of the group is doing just a four mile straight tempo on the track at their uh, anaerobic threshold close to it, and then we'll follow up with uh, a couple 200s, around 1500 meter race pace with a uh, 200 jog. So, been in a pretty heavy training block the last uh, couple weeks, coming off a of conference and all of that, and wanna let the guys kinda come back down a little bit. We'll head out to Stanford and Raleigh next weekend, so just kinda starting the process of getting their legs back under them a little bit. So we sit down, I mean, there's a general skeleton that kinda Coach Hayes writes for the distance guys. Um, at the beginning of a season, kind of the beginning of every indoor, outdoor, cross country season. And then we sit down every Thursday, the week prior, kind of look at what's planned and then make adjustments week to week just off of how guys are adjusting, how they're racing, how they've looked in practices and just anything we've noticed from blood lactate data or just feel, fatigue, any injuries, injuries we're monitoring week to week, but also on a, on a bigger scale too. What do we have? A good question. <laughs> well, three mile, two mile, eight by 200. Okay. I believe, but don't quote me on that. Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm on a good five hours sleep right now. I'm just a bit jet lagged at the moment because I've um, been in Australia. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes today. Gotcha. <laughs> we are currently running on the, the campus's cross country trails. Some nice crushed gravel service here. Just getting in a good warm up. Just uh, hit the paces I'm supposed to. And uh, just uh, have it feel solid. Doesn't have to feel amazing. Um, as long as it doesn't feel horrible. And we, if, it, if it's just to get the work done type of day, then it's a win. Uh, I'm from Long Island. Yeah. How did you get connected with Lake Forest? Um, it was really high up on my list of schools that I wanted to come to. I was looking at places with a great balance of academics and a great team culture, great cross country program. I, I knew Hayes' resume. Um, I knew he was a very experienced coach. And throughout the recruiting process, I really just enjoyed talking to him, talking to Zuri. I kind of felt very comfortable that this was a place that I was going to want to be. Um, I'd say the biggest thing is probably balance. It's really, it's really important to be able to juggle all the balls that you have as a student athlete. Um, there's a lot of things that you need to be able to handle and kind of manage between school, between practice, between recovery, and all those things. It's really important to spread out your time, understand what's important to you, and focus on that. And I think that's probably the biggest lesson is understanding what's most important to you and devoting your time to that. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. Uh, just see what I can do. Uh, I never really set, never really focus too much on the times. I just let it happen and race. Your vape is meant through the trenches. Yeah, bro. Ty and I had a heinous cool down after Charlotte. Oh, really? She just got destroyed. In the vapors as well. Yeah, well, we had a workout, bro. It was like a cool down workout. 
So we just did six times five minutes through the mud. <laughs> Charlie, what's gonna be the hairstyle of the spring semester? What's the goal? Who knows, honestly. Could be anything. <laughs> I might just keep the buzz low key. We'll see though. Uh, everybody else no cases? You good? Mid 5, yeah. 20? Uh, Fresh start there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going out with that dude. Yeah, you're 3-2 as well? Yeah. Okay. What am I? Sure. What am I style? Uh, it's good, Mark. You're doing 3-2 yeah. as well? Oh, you'll we st what are you starting at? Uh, he's holding me 5-4 I think. Yeah. So I just roll with it. Hunter, what are you, 5-4? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Charlie, why don't you start with Hunter? Still, I mean, why you? I know you didn't sleep right with all the jet lag and all that. Do you, uh, you want to start a group back? Wait, what's Hunter going at? Five. -0. He's starting at five oh four. Five oh four down to four fifty six. Rocky's going three. five. Rocky's gonna start at five. Oh, so I'll try five. Come on. We'll, we'll okay. test after three. Three yeah, miles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ready. Yeah, so I'm majoring in environmental science. I'd like to really like help the world in that aspect. Um, it's a lot harder than you think. Uh, you're like, oh, 6.2 miles. You know, it's not that far, but you know, freshman running at NCAA's, it's eye-opening when more than half the field goes out faster than sub four pace for the first K. I put myself out there and gained that experience and. I'm ready for the next one. Can I go? Yeah. All right. Just go based on field. So it's 32, 7. That's your miles. Yeah. Uh, next one is. How's Rocky looking? Yeah, really good. Yeah, he's kind of cruising 70s right now, so. Letting them cut down, just kind of go off with their feel towards the end of it. I think he's feeling good. I mean, obviously we start with athletic ability. Like at the, the surface, you've got to be able to be someone who can be competitive in the ACC. And so what we look for is their character. Who are they when things are, are hard? Who are they on their worst days? You know, is there a, a huge gap between their best and worst days, or is it consistent? Can they fight through it when it's rainy and windy, uh, and just find a way to compete? Or are they the person who has an excuse for why the race didn't go well, or is constantly searching for the perfect race? I mean, for us, we want the guy who uh, is confident in himself, um, believes in his coaching, is really coachable, and also, like, regardless of conditions or circumstances, is, is going to put his best every day. solid, better than I thought I'd feel. Just uh, went by feel and uh, got it done. Uh, How was that? Uh, it's good. Four, four. 
It was actually decent considering. What are we hitting for the these? circumstances? <laughs> so we've got three 300s and then three 150s. We'll start the 300s at round mile rhythm and just build down probably if we feel all right. Oh, there ain't no way I can keep up with you. Ain't no way. Even though I was only watching the workout as a cameraman, the coach in me couldn't help but just take in the environment where everyone involved is immersed in becoming the best version of themselves while mastering their crafts. After the workout was done, the guys were given 12 hours to eat, sleep, recover, and it was time to lift weights. Hey, so now that we are back from spring break and we're going into outdoor workouts are changing ever so slightly, get in, log in, we'll talk about it, then I'll release you to do the Sound good? Perfect, let's roll. Uh, how's my hair look for the um, We're gonna do a band series first um, to kind of just get everything going. We call that prehab. That's where you find the lift? Yeah, that's where we find the lift. We're just loading it in. It takes, sometimes these things aren't turned on because we're the first ones. Okay. 6.45 a.m. Did you get some sleep? Yeah, it wasn't great again, but um, all right, all right. like seven hours this time, so there you go. a little bit better each day. <laughs> While in the weight room, I bumped into Wake Forest All-American Luke Tewalt, and I asked him one question. I said, man, when you broke onto the scene last year, taking fourth in the 5K outdoors, when you woke up the next morning, did you feel like the same guy, or did something feel different? This is what he had to say. I mean, when I first got to Wake, Hayes told me that I could be an All-American. It's just a matter of how many. And at the time, I was super excited just because he believed in me. And then um, I'm reflecting on the year and I realized I've done it twice in one year. I mean, I was just very happy to see like the process truly does work. Um, and I, I knew I was the same guy. I know I'm, I, was, I was the same guy who, uh, who walked on the campus four years ago and I'm still the same guy today. I, I care about the same things. I, I feel the same way about people who matter to me most in life and I think especially reflecting this after this year I've realized that um, when you can truly lean on these people knowing that they're going to be with you in your highest moments and your lowest moments you have to experience the low moments to know that they're going to be there with you no matter what. Very wise words there from Luke, a man who has seen so much in this sport. Um, we're hoping to bring more running videos like this to y'all, especially from the universities that we've sponsored so far to host running camps with. So if you haven't already, check out the Wake Forest Camp of Champs. Registration is still open as of late April. It will be closing soon. You can grab those spots. Uh, come hang out with guys that you saw in the video. Come hang out with the coaches at Wake Forest and myself. We'll all be there uh, trying to teach you how to become the best version of yourself. Um, hopefully you've picked up on some of those learnings in these videos and if you're enjoying the content please uh, like and subscribe I'm hoping to bring more of these to you soon um, also coming soon on the channel we'll be doing a little DIY action as we build out our mobile testing facility so if you're into that type of thing we'll show you how it works and maybe we'll get to do a deep dive into some of these athletes profiles and see if we can learn from them in the meantime train smart run fast we'll see you soon